Welcome everyone. Welcome to Anita's Joint. Hashtag is in the joint where every day is payday, baby. And you tuned into another um football commentary, esoteric football commentary with your girl Anita flying high. Oh, jeez. Uh, so we're gonna be watching um Orlando Pride versus Ch Chicago Red Stars. I hope everyone's doing good. Let me put this uh on it. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. What's today? Happy. What's up everyone? Hope you are well. Be back at it with another <clears throat> hope you have been doing well i'm gonna be in the discord with the match as always um the game is on uh it's about to start the game is on twitch 4 if you're outside of america and uh yeah let me get up in here real quick. let me get up in the discord All right, we got Mal Pew. Excited to see Mal now. Happy to see her healthy. Marta's back. God damn, Marta, welcome back. We're happy to see Marta. So, uh, you know, Sid LaRue's been doing well. Um, Taylor Konorki, some players we, we're going to be looking out for today. Uh, let me get up in here at the Discord. There it is. I'll leave, I'll, I'll share um, the link. Come on now. <laughs> oh man. Arsenal women. Any stream for Arsenal women? My bad. Uh, I, uh, I guess, let me see something real quick, let me get up in here, I wish I had links for Arsenal women, sometimes it's hard to, uh, find some of these links, especially, uh, if Arsenal aren't streaming, you know what I'm saying? Like, you think, I know, because I have Manchester City's, um, like, uh, subscription. So, you know, it's like two bucks, a buck, uh, two bucks a month. Um, but Arsenal, if Arsenal don't have a subscription for the supporters, it's, it's, it's difficult to find the live streams, you know what I'm saying? Um... But I'm not going to really watch any of the, um... Uh, English league until the season starts, really. So, apologize for not having no links. It is what it is. Let me go in here. All right. Okay. We're in the live. And let me share. I got this link. Copy, 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 copy link. There you go. All right. This is the link that, uh, this is one of the websites I use to find all the NWSL matches. So, I just shared that with y'all. Um, so, that's. Hopefully it works for you. You know, I pay for I pay for the matches, so I try some, in America some of the matches, not all of them. You know what I'm saying? We gotta finesse this matrix. So I mean, I don't pay for all the matches, but um, for now, NWSL because I have a, a it's free with my no, is it free with my TV? No, I think I pay five bucks a month too for NWSL. Um, but um. That's the link I share with y'all. That's uh, hopefully that works for you. And it has like that link will have all the competitions for the rest of the NWSL season. Okay, unless something magically happens, I really don't know what to tell you. You know what I mean? Uh, your girl can only do so much. All right. Uh, but shout out to everyone. Let me know where you're watching from, or let me know where you're from. Uh, say hi. What's up? You can drop a heart or something. Uh, it's up to you. 
our um, our damn stop. Chicago Red Stars and Orlando Pride. Let's go. So they're back on commercial. A lot of uh, Orlando Pride supporters in the chat, in the Twitch chat. Um, right now, Houston is sitting in seventh position. So honestly, just one through seven is like like bunched up. So at this moment, I'll take a draw. At the moment, I'll take both teams can take a draw because uh, I don't need anyone, you know, Houston are not even in position to, like, make the playoffs right now if the season ended. So it's not good. Um, but Orlando, they fell off, yeah. Orlando fell off. They were sitting on top of the table. And then... Um, Yeah, so, um, you apologize. But we still have a month until, oh, yeah, also i seen, I've seen, uh, yo, Barcelona whoops Juventus as, as well? Uh, because I know, like, they're, you know, remember we had talked about during the beginning of the season that eventually the ladies are going to play in the same stadiums that their counterparts, which is, which makes sense. It's a principle and virtue. I mean, if you represent the same club, like Houston Dash does, and Houston Dynamo, they they both play in BBVA Stadium. But uh, I think Arsenal and Tottenham, I think Tottenham are going to be playing in the same stadiums. And, and I know uh, I want Manchester City to play more, the women to play more at the Eddie Head Stadium. Because you know how much history, you know how much, uh, um, how many more memories they can create in the same stadiums? You, you know, it, it, it's principle. But, um... It's not, it's not there yet. They, it's, you know, we can only state the obvious, right? We can only state the obvious so much. But um, we'll talk about that when the English League kicks back up. Um, we'll talk about that, yeah, when the English League kicks back up with everything. And, um, of course, we're midway through in the NWSL season. And, uh... I need someone to make sure Portland doesn't get away too far. So I think I forget who's number two, but um, yeah, shout out to everyone that's tuning in. How was y'all's day? How are y'all doing? You know, are y'all doing okay? How how was your how was your day today? Or drop where you're watching your girl, um, where you're watching at. Um, let me see, let me see, let me see. All right, all right, all right. Bam. About to get started. And they're in Chicago, it looks like it. And there's a lot of people out there, which is good. Let's go. And hopefully the, the stream is sort of kind of the same. Because sometimes the Twitch chat spoils me. And I don't know who scores a goal and stuff like that. It kind of sucks sometimes. All right, cool, cool. Um, Chicago, of course, you know. Uh, who they got Rachel Hill over there. Um, uh, Mal Pugh. Who else? Uh, Morgan Bryan. Uh. Uh. Oh, Kaleo Watt. That's right. That's right. Kaleo Watt. Um, and in Orlando, I mean, we're going to see if Sid LaRue can carry, continue to carry that team until Alex gets back and Martha's back, which is good. Taylor Knorky, I'm not too sure she's a rookie, but, um, I mean, she's like, what, six foot. So I expect her, I think, I, I think she's playing. I mean, she, she needs to be able to dominate based upon her size. And Marta got up, is going to need, you know, to help be a cis woman uh, to help create for Orlando. And, I mean, I think if uh, you put Sidney LaRue in the right position, she's going to score. She's already showed it so far. And, 
Hopefully this is an entertaining match. Uh, we already know what happened yesterday. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, so we already know what happened yesterday. But yeah, shout out to, and also, I was so late. I, I, I thought I didn't wake up too late, but apparently I did. I was going to watch the, the final with uh, AS Roma and Bayern Munich, but apparently Bayern Munich won. Uh, Barcelona beat Juventus. And yeah. And, I'm not, and I think Tottenham, oh, snap, wow. Who was that? Was that number three? Was that Rachel Hill? Or Kaylee? I'm not too sure who was that, because that should have been a goal. She was, like, right in front of the goalkeeper. <laughs> Oof. And I expect now Pew to be pulling the strings for Chicago. She's been playing really well. And I'm a big supporter of her. Hopefully she'll be on that World Cup roster. I think it was Kelly Watt shot. I'm not too sure if, uh, if she's number three or number two. Okay, okay. Uh, Ashley Harris has been playing well as well this season. Let's see. A bad giveaway. Okay, so it was, uh, it was Kaylee Watt. And it was defended off the line. Wow. Now Pew was asking for the ball as well. I forgot to see the replay. <clears throat> okay, it says save of the week, Ali. So I guess that's Ali Riley from um, the New Zealand side. They didn't really do so well. But they'll be hosting the uh, World Cup with Australia. <laughs> Ooh. And let me share um my Discord with y'all. That's my Discord. So the matches I do go live with, matches I do go live, um, you can watch with me in the Discord if you'd like. You don't have to. It's all up to you, right? You got choices, you got options. So. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I'm feeling good, y'all. I've been ha I had a great day. I've had a great day so far. Really I mean I've read my book if you have seen. I've been reading. That's been making me feel really good for some um, you know, just continuing to, you know, enjoy. So I've been reading, watching football, pretty much. All right? Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of y'all in here tonight. What's up, y'all? If you are, make sure you hit that like and hit that uh, follow button as well. You know what I'm saying? It's much, it's much appreciated. I appreciate every single one of you. I, I feel like I can feel y'all's energy. So, thank y'all for coming through today. I got my... Y'all know, y'all hear that news about <clears throat> that player, that player number 10?
Now, if you haven't seen me go in on number 10, feel free to watch my, uh, <clears throat> my women's football chat number four. I think it was like my, some of my earliest videos. And I don't really have so many videos here, but watch that video. You'll see what I say about um, the number 10. And uh, we're going to be cracking in on him and a little bit some of the other uh, players so y'all can be peeping game. Uh, because we are now in the time we are no longer worshiping athletes. And uh, you need to understand that we are in new times. You no longer worship the athletes. And, uh, you know, treat them as such. Because they haven't really shown us any reason to worship them. Right? So, uh, peep game on that. Peep game on that. And, uh, you know, we're still going to rock out and enjoy Orlando and Chicago. See how they doing. Um, chat. I see the chat. They're going crazy. Oh, nice save. Who's that? Is that Bixby? Ah, don't quote me on her last name. Oh, what? Jo Jordy Taylor's back? What's up, Joey Taylor? Hey, yo, you know, hey, Taylor, you know, she plays for uh, England. For She was playing for England for a while. I didn't know she's shooting up with Orlando. Goddamn, Orlando. You got some um, some, some OGs in the game. You know, Taylor, uh, Joey Taylor's an OG. Um, but, yeah, welcome back. Happy to have you. Happy to see you. You know, um... What I like about, of course, football, we get to, one, uh, find the new stars. And also, uh, if you didn't watch yesterday, Olivia uh, for Portland, she had a great game. I think she was subbed off, like, kind of around half, like after halftime. But, you know, for being, um, you know, her age, I mean, if you're watching and you're, like, her age, listen, she's a prime example. Go pro if you work hard. And if you want to play football, go for it, you know. The door is open. You may have to sue the NWSL to play, but fuck it. You'll get out there. You know what I'm saying? You, you know what I'm saying? You, you'll be able to get out there. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Are you going to stream the game? No, I can't stream the game because YouTube and Twitch won't allow it. Especially, I I have two strikes on my cha my uh, <clears throat> my main channel. I have two strikes, but um, I put the links in the description so you can be able to watch the match. Uh, they're in the uh, they're in the description. I already shared them, so uh, you can click on that link. Um, if not, I'm streaming the match. Actually, I might go on to stream the game. I am streaming the game in my Discord. I am streaming the game in my Discord. Hey, what's up, Aaron? What's happening? How you doing, fam? How's your day? Um, but yeah, I already am streaming the game just in my Discord. I, I won't be streaming it on YouTube though, um, or Twitter. I mean, on Twitch, because you know, um, the Aaron has made it here. Thank you. What's up? Uh, yeah, so I am streaming the game, just not on Twitter, not just not on Twitch and YouTube. Sorry. But, you know, I do upload the videos that I do record after, if you happen to. For some reason. Okay. That's what's up. Okay, you got your aunties. That's what's up. Shout out to auntie. All right, all right. That's what's up. Shout out to the auntie. <clears throat> but uh yeah everyone um yeah i am streaming the match just but uh like i say like i'll tell you always I, you won't be listening to know you nwsl 
commentary. You're listening to Anita Flying High commentary. And if you don't want that, hey, I can't help in any shape, way, or form when it comes to that. But what I do offer you is links to the match, okay? So... But we're 11 minutes in. So far, both teams have had opportunities right in front of the goalkeepers, and both goalkeepers have made saves. So uh, first was um, Kalia Watt's shot, and I didn't get to see who actually it was for Orlando, but uh, goalkeepers have been coming up with stops, so that's good. All right, Orlando have a free kick. Uh, if y'all have any predictions, let me know what y'all think the match will end. I think the ma I think the game. Um, like I said, I asked for a draw, so hopefully, like a two-two draw. I don't mind four goals. I mean, I don't mind four goals. So. Uh... Oh, Marta's back, Aaron. I Marta's back. Marta's back. She's back with Orlando. I was surprised too. I mean, Brazil didn't make a. I mean, they made the same. I think they made the same exit. They lost to. Uh, I think Brazil. Oh yeah, Brazil lost to Canada. That's right. So it was the uh, quarterfinals. Yeah, Brazil lost to Canada. So I mean. That's why I was like, "Come on, Davy, why why didn't you come back home?" <laughs> Oh, like you, they they left around the same time, but I guess it made it a little difficult. It, um, shoot, it felt like it. Marta, but Marta's a legend, right? Marta's a legend. She's like old school, you know. Oh my goodness, she's old school, Marta. Let's see. Oh snap. Nice finish from Jody Taylor. Go. Um, but Jody Taylor, welcome back. It's it's good to see you. I didn't know. I mean, now I mean, fuck Orlando. You know they're gonna have a little B squad coming back. You know, say you got Alex Morgan coming back. You see Jody Taylor coming in, scoring. She beats who's? Uh, I'm not too sure who those two players are on the back line, but um. Matheson is that's Matheson. She beat both of the defenders, but you know, Jordy Taylor, you know, she's always been scoring goals. She played for Portland. That's the last time I've seen her. That's the last time I've seen Jordy Taylor. Really. But she is a classic number nine. Uh maybe she might be trying to make the Euros. Who knows? For England. I mean, they could have used her because when I think about Great Britain, I mean I don't understand how they <clears throat> they didn't advance. So maybe, maybe, uh, <clears throat> maybe, uh, Jody's like, hey, I'm still an option. And, uh, Orlando's leading. But, uh, yeah, that's good for them. Chicago is going to have to make a comeback now. He said, Jody, she has a shot. Yeah. But what about Ellen White? Ellen White is, they might be around the same age, right? Jody Taylor and Ellen White. Let me, let me look. Because, let me see, let me see, let me see. How old is Ellen White? God damn! They bring up some old hat, oh, excuse me, some old lady. It says 87. Oh my goodness. Y'all wild. You said, 
White, curvy hemp, England. Football. Okay, so Ellen White is 32, okay. Let's see. How old is uh, Jordy Taylor? Okay, so Ellen White is 32 and Jody Taylor is 35. And we just seen Carly Lloyd and, and Megan Rapino, right? But she's like, I mean, she's got some years. She's got three years on Ellen White. So is that a big difference? But Ellen White soon gonna have to move over too. I mean, I feel like uh, they're gonna need to look at, you know, younger players, right? Shout out to Ellen White. And Tony Duggan is 30 as well. She's coming back home. I didn't know Nikita. Nikita's 27, so she's still young. Um, Laura Hemp. Laura Hemp. Uh, Nikita's 27. Let me see. Laura Hemp is one of the youngest. Kirby. Let me see how old is Kirby. Kirby's 28 as well. So Nikita Paris is younger than Fran Kirby. And... Okay, Beth England. How old is Beth England? Let's see. Dude, y'all Ali Car Ellie Carpenter is still 21. The the she's like already a legend. Uh let me see. Beth England. Yeah, that's Beth England. Let me see. Oh, okay. Okay, and Beth England is 27 as well. So she's the same age as Nikita. Um, but they're in their prime right now. Oh, so Ellen is not known for pace. Yeah, Ellen's a good finisher, though. Um, but and I think Laura, Hem I think Laura Hemp's like twenty, maybe. Okay, Laura Hemp is 21. Yeah, so she's the youngest. Um... England. Oh, you talk about England got a production line up front, but production line in the back has stalled. Yeah. I'm just thinking, well, they're going to have to re eventually replace Seth. I think Millie Bright's going to have to be there. And, I mean, Rachel may have to play back there as well. But they're really gonna, they're going to need, uh, you know, Demi Stokes was there. You know, you think Lucy Stokes got, you know, a couple more, couple years. You got Lucy, I guess, Millie Bright. And it's going to have to be Leo Williamson for our, from Arsenal. And then the Chelsea, Millie Bright, and then... They're gonna need to be looking at that uh the position um Demi Stokes play. And that's why Alice Greenwood, she was upset when she didn't get um, you know, of course taken to with the team. And honestly, she played more than Demi Stokes, but I mean, hey, because she could play this, she plays that left back that left winger role, and it was usually her, Steph, and and uh well, Doll Camper last season. But um, England got talent. I mean, it's there. They have enough talent. So who's gonna be the manager? Um, the Dutch manager, Sabrina. She's gonna be in charge of you know trying to win England a Euro, right? Um, next year, it's gonna be tough, but it's gonna be very interesting. I'm gonna. I'm looking forward. To, looking forward to that tournament. Uh, should have some great teams play each other uh i don't i don't think about the the group stages but the group stages don't look too too testy but every everyone else like we'll see we'll just see how it goes yeah we'll see how it goes um but uh but yeah that would make it would make sense. Uh, Jody is kind of behind. 
But we're 27 minutes in. The goal from Jody Taylor, though. Shout out to England. I don't want to be spoiled, so I'm gonna have to now look at that. <clears throat> Morgan Ryan. That it, that 2015 World Cup USA one, she was very important. I just think she didn't um because she's I just think uh she could she got hurt. That's right, she got hurt. Uh, but she's still someone I, I want to look at for USA because it's only going to be two more years. And she's younger than, um, you know, Megan Rapino and Carly Lloyd and Alex Morgan and them, you know. And and I think she's younger than Christy Mewis, uh, Morgan Bryan. I think she's like... What's she? She's... Yeah, Morgan Bryan is 28, so she's still got, you know, she's younger than most of the ladies. I think she's younger than Press, she's younger than Tobin. Yeah. USA. USA. And honestly, it, whoever gets to look at, who, whoever, I mean, if Blackco, if Blackco gets to um, manage, uh, well, next year, we got to see how many games USA is going to get or how many, if they're going to have the She Believes Cup and who they call because they don't need to be playing no, no, uh, I mean, it needs to be at least three teams in the top 20 because there's no need to play any team let, that is not ranked in the top 20, right? Um, if it's available for them. Uh, but yeah, whoever gets to manage USA, say it's Latco. He's gonna need to like he he's lucky because we're seeing a lot of players we already been talking about them all season that he can look at and pull, and so then when it comes to that, we're just gonna see who's ready to take that spot, you know, because there's a lot of young stars for USA, and uh, you know the flashlight the star the starlight's gonna be on them. We're gonna see who can uh, who's gonna be the next. Uh, Alex Morgan and Abby Wambach. So we, we need someone that's going to be able to score, you know. Hmm. Carly Lloyd ain't going to be there no more. We'll see how long Alex stays. Kristen Press. We are, we're looking at a couple already. Al Q needs to come back. Uh, Ashley Hash, call her up. Sophia Smith, call her up. Margaret Purse, call her up. Um... You know, go ahead, call Taylor up. She's tall. But I also think that um, we'll see how long that poor, uh, yeah. Yeah. Morgan, Lloyd, Rapino, Sabrano, Hera. I don't know what, I don't know about Dunn. I don't know about Crystal Dunn. Because there's no one to replace Crystal Dunn right now. But, I mean, if they if they have, he didn't really play, uh, what's her name, uh, Casey Short as much. But if she, I don't, I still don't want to leave Dunn out. Press, Dunn and Press are probably the only two, and may, yeah, Dunn and Press are the only two players out of that group you said. Um, I'm keeping at the moment. Just for their pace. But everyone else, y'all, y'all, y'all got the bronze medal. Congratulations. You can still play professionally, but for USA, come on now. Stop trying to pad your stats. Nah, man. Aaron, I don't know. Dunn's pretty good. Dunn's pretty good. She was just, like I said, she was isolated. And she plays an attacking role. Uh, she, I mean, she plays in an attacking role. And for her size, she's pretty good. She's Because she's so pacey. And she's still got engine. I mean, shit, if they get Carly Lloyd to run out for that long, they need to make sure... Uh, they need a replacement for Crystal Dunn, for sure. Emily Fox, I feel, is one. Um, they said Casey Short. 
I'm not too sure who else plays in that role, those left back and right back roles for USA. But O'Hara, by her. Oh yeah, Emily Sonnet. Uh, she's someone that plays left back, right back, right? Um, but we'll see what you, we'll see what whoever manages. All we can do is speculate, right? We'll see who manage uh, manages USA coming into twenty. Or if they have any more matches for, if they have any more matches, I don't think they might not play for the rest of the year. Team USA until next year. So gives a lot of the ladies, a lot of the young girls, opportunities to make their case. And uh, the first player I'm going to be looking at. Uh, Damn, they get paid 100 k just because they make the team? So you said they will want to play for you as long as they can get that because at 100 k Damn, that is 100 k mm. And then, are we going to have to settle for bronze? It says they will get 100 k Uh, they will damn they get 100k because they're a USA player mm. damn how many players can USA claim do you know Aaron because uh Some they gonna have to. I know. <laughs> they listen. They oh man, USA. Ooh. Al Q with the shot. Um. Well, like according to Hope Solo. They could be making a lot more than 100K USA Women's National Team. Okay, 22 players? Okay, so 22 players can get a 100K contract from USA. From uh, from the, from the okay. So that's like a, the Olympic roster. That's like, a, the, yeah, the Olympic roster, right? How much, I wonder how much they got paid to win bronze. Because just imagine if the 2015 team didn't turn down equal pay, how much more money they would have been making. And especially since they won the World Cup in 2019. That'd be crazy, right? But they turned that shit down. But, oh well. They have to live and learn. Ah, Q's got to be better. Australia's women have equal play. I think Brazil's women have equal pay now. I don't understand how the quote unquote land of the free Americas they don't have equal pay yet. Y'all y'all crazy ladies, y'all crazy for walking out that office without equal pay. I don't know who raised you. Um you said uh, max cap is max cap in the is 50k, but USA players simply get 77k from okay. Okay, okay. Damn, so pretty much the manager really gets to see the manager, whoever the man whoever um so who gets who who chooses the contracted players? The coach or 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 US Federation Soccer? Because then the manager has all in the way all the power, right? To give them a here, I'm blessing you with a 77k contract, because you know. But I know it's the athlete's job to make sure they 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 stay uh you know ready and, and, and in good form and stuff like that. So I want to know who 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 has all that power to choose what 22 players get that USA money. Very interesting. Very very interesting. You know, you always got to follow the money. Water break. Let's 
But damn, if you want to play professional NWSL football in America, you're going to be maybe looking at a 50K as if you're really, really good. I bet like Mal Pugh gets 50K, maybe. You said, I assume if the new players start to pew in a row, they add, they get added, and the players who miss out get sacked. Oh, like Kruger. And, like Kruger and, and Harris, no wonder they was kind of like, yo. Ew, look. Yeah. <laughs> no wonder they was upset. <clears throat> they was missing on that. That was good, good. A good bag real quick but they should have never turned down if they had never turned out equal pay they would have had like a lot more we wouldn't even talking about 100k they would have been making a lot more how much because i think it was like the men get it as like they pay they get paid as they play like you have to play to and then you get paid and they sign up for like contracts and stuff like that i think that's what i was pretty much uh getting to conclusion and it's and and i don't know i would honestly what do you say australia they say australia england norway brazil and other federations have equal pay but it's really chair that is really charity because the men's team has much have much larger revenues but at least they have equal pay in this bitch instead of settling for not equal pay what's better than equal pay not equal pay like what if they told you yeah yeah we're gonna give you equal pay and you was like no i don't want equal pay i want something else like what the fuck like who does that young bitches is crazy excuse my friend excuse me excuse me i don't know how they walked out of there without equal pay i don't know how they said no to equal pay like what's better than that apparently what they got <laughs> When you think about it, when you think about it, it's like they were greedy. <clears throat> they were only looking out for themselves and not looking out for the future. Not, not that, you know, especially if you pay for USA, uh, not that they, they don't live really, really well. I mean, they could have been living better. But, you know, now how long is it going to take the, the younger players that come up behind them to actually get the same offer that they offered those ladies. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully they're telling them game or something. Don't ever walk out of the office without equal pay. Because now that's all we hear them talking about is equal pay. I'm like, bitches, y'all turned that shit down. Bro, shit. Y'all did. That's what Hope Solo said. Oh, you said equal pay is not... Equal pay is not right. We need fair play. Players cannot expect a messy salary because they do not generate the same amount of interest, thus money. So equal, e so they need fair play. <clears throat> fair play. <clears throat> so 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 no no equal pay. They need fair play. Fair pay, fair pay, okay, fair pay, fair pay, okay, okay, fair pay. And and court and I think you were talking about it too, Aaron, because USA is so so big, um, that also hinders how much money comes out, right? Because it's so big. <laughs> Yeah, they 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 do think it's everyone else's like fault. I'm like, don't tell us about what y'all turned down. Like, we don't want to hear that. Listen, Hope Solo said it, and she was there. It was Hope Solo and Carly Lloyd in the the podcast episode, and that's why Hope Solo was blackballed. <laughs> and and, and um, I mean, Carly was with her, but Carly's a, a gangster, so you know she she made it do what it do. And um, she still was able to stand with Hope, uh, but <clears throat> yeah, it's it's their fault. They turned that shit down. I don't want to hear y'all bitching to us. Excuse me again. Ooh, that was a good shot. I don't want to hear them complaining. 
and especially it's the main one Megan Rapino. it's the main one and Hope Solo said it was Megan Rapino that was the, mo- the the vocal voice of of not them having equal pay and I'm just like Hope Solo how did you let that happen Carly Lloyd how did y'all let that happen but would you say okay so um USA has a new CBD uh okay okay yeah okay we'll see what happens we'll see what they present to us but I mean I feel like I mean right real shit real shit real shit they're, they got to take responsibility for signing that contract. They signed that shit. Mm-hmm. They sure did. We holding y'all. Y'all hold, we holding y'all responsible. Y'all let the youth down. Yeah. What kind of example are y'all telling the ladies? What what kind of example are y'all telling the ladies? And then y'all. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We we, we it's, it's new times now. Y'all got to take responsibility. Y'all got to take responsibility. Y'all. Are, you know what I'm saying? It's not. And I think it was going to be even harder because, you know, a lot of the players were older. And I think that's also was incentive for them not signing it. I think as well, they were greedy and they were like, man, we got to, you know, we're going to have to work really, really hard. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it could have worked out in their favor. Just work really, really hard, ladies. Y'all already do that. This is your job. That's what y'all love to do. You know what I'm saying? But, you know. Just a mat. I just think about damn. They walked out of there with equal pay, and then they fucked around and won. Then again, you know how all the ritual stuff is. They could have been got equal pay and then fucking lost the World Cup, and that was what they had got. You know what I'm saying? This matrix is tricky as fuck. So, <sighs> so it's crazy, y'all. It's crazy, y'all. Especially with number ten, right? Number ten. I was looking. Number ten just left for Barcelona to to uh PSG, right? And um is that the only way number 10 is going to be able to win a World Cup? Because, you know, they said the World Cups in Coyar, right? Coyar, and that's where PSG is owned by Coyar, right? I think. So, I mean, y'all got to peep game. This is how this is how they mingle in 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 the in, the, in this matrix, yeah? He said I think I need to run. Right? You say I think I need to run the because it's just just give a fixed percentage on revenue from female teams and likewise for male teams. Okay. So we got solutions. We got solutions over here. <clears throat> it could be it, it could be good. So look, hire Aaron. He's already giving y'all simple solutions. He's, it's a simple solution. Y'all need to go ahead, give him a call. He's already in the city of, you know what I'm saying? He's already in the big, 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 big place where football was created. Go ahead, give him the call. But uh, as long as we continue to watch football, we get to see them uh, work this out, right? Because, you know, I have... I, I'm not having to worry about getting a USA contract, and, and I'm I'm just still thinking about what I have to do next week. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but um, you know, it's it's different, and in, in, in of course there are cases, and we want the best for the ladies, but they need to. Uh, we want the best for them, as they should want for us, right? Right? And um, so hopefully, they learn their lesson and uh, let them be an example of of how not to turn down equal pay, right? <laughs> and uh, we'll see how the game grows, right? We'll just see how it grows and how and how um, how everything works out, right? Ooh. So, good work, Orlando, looking for that second goal. Hmm. <clears throat> But uh, I like how you put that, Aaron. And 
Yep, I like y'all, y'all, y'all spot on, y'all spot on, spot on, you're spot on, y'all spot on, spot on. It only it takes real eyes to recognize it. Shit, it takes real eyes to recognize it. All right, 42 minutes. What's this plan? Oh, it's so weird. All right, we got 40, 42, 42 minutes. Oh, I see. All right, March. You got a little counter attack. Nothing, nothing. <clears throat> oh, yellow card. Damn, Ali Krieger's 37. I mean, it's not old. I mean, is it? Let me see how many people as well are on. All right, 3.7K are watching. 3.7K are watching. Uh, on Twitch. I got y'all watching with me as well. You <clears throat> <clears throat> <laughs> said Holly still looks hot for 37. <laughs> I think she's a Leo. She, I think she's a Leo, Allie. So she's the sun. I think, don't quote me though. Oh, I see, I see. This is a good, this is a good little song. All right, corner for Chicago. See if they can equalize before halftime. Kind of quiet. goodness that's funny Aaron yeah I think so she looks much better than Rapino 
and I'm still trying to figure out how how she's Victoria's Secret model, but whatever. That's some weird, interesting stuff. Uh, yeah, but shout out to Ali Krieger. Um, what did she play? What, what, she was a she was like a right back, right? For, or she always played center back. Of course, she played on the wing. A lot for USA. I mean, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I mean, like, I mean, if you had two choices, I mean, you're going to pick Allie. If you had, if you had some options, you, you would pick her. Um, I think it's because, uh, Latino be pushing certain agendas, so. <clears throat> now she's the cover star for Victoria's Secret, holy shit, what the fuck? <laughs> but, you know, to each his own. Whoever Victoria, whoever the boss is at Victoria's Secret, Thought that they wanted to take the, their direction, Rapino's way, and um, now we, yeah, now, now they probably lost a lot of members. All right, y'all, that's halftime. Oh my goodness. Jody Taylor's goal has Orlando Pride in the lead. Chicago need to turn up next half. Looks good to see Jody Taylor back in the NWSL. A surprise and Martin's back as well. Let me give me some water, y'all. I'll be right back. All right, be back. Turn down that music real quick. All right, so it's halftime, everyone. Um, I'm looking at some of their top comments. They're talking about um, Pew and Sophia. Smith are both from Colorado. They don't pass much. Well, Al Ata Alba said they don't pass much in the final third. 
Smith, I think, will learn and will be a long-time national team player. Yeah, we're future, future players. Nice, nice. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Let me check something out right quick. <clears throat> Wolfsburg. What the weird shit? Today's the eighth. Okay, so I'm just looking at some other friendlies that will be coming up. Byron, PSG play Byron on the 18th. Okay, that's the start of the uh, that's the start of that little tournament with uh, racing Louisville and Chicago. That's very interesting how that's going to go about during the NWSL season. I don't, I'm still kind of like wrapping my head around that now I think about it. Like, how are they going to have a mini tournament during the NWSL season? Is it going to be like Bye week or something like that. Weird. Um. But usually I just look on. I usually just look on Twitter to see. So I, I think I follow. Well, I follow kind of like one of some. I follow um. <clears throat> The big tournament names, right? And I do follow Barca. What did Bar Okay, damn. Barca beat Juventus 6 0. That's an asshole thing. And then let's see what Arsenal did. They just beat Chelsea, right? Uh. Arsenal women, yeah. Let's see, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Oh shit! Okay, so September fifth, Arsenal versus Chelsea. That's like the open one of the opening matches. Um. What's going on here? Did they... Okay, here it is. Tottenham beat Arsenal 4-0. Well, they got to do better. And then... I don't see one Man City's. Man City, who is Man City opening against? They haven't tweeted anything since May 16th. This is trip. This is awful. Who's in charge of Manchester City women's uh uh plan? Like what what's up this? How is Arsenal and Tottenham and Chelsea getting games? And you know why? I swear it's because half the team was Great Britain, right? <laughs> That's my only thing. They're like, oh shit, half our team went to Great Britain. And I'm thinking that's why they haven't they haven't been able to play anything. But don't quote me. I could just be. I don't. <coughs> so that's kind of that kind of sucks. Now want we got some new signings, and also, you know, Janine Becky is really the only one. 
for Canada. Man, I, I don't want. No, Messi's going. Messi's going to PSG. Hello. I don't even like that per. I don't even like number ten like that. No, but I'm talking about Men's City women. The Men's City men, they're just splashing the cash. I mean, they got all the fun. They got the funds. They're just like, here, we'll pay this person. Here, we'll pay this person. Here, we'll pay you. We'll pay you. And then you have one of the greatest managers, uh, Pep. Oh, my gosh, guys. We got a troll in the chat. Pocket Maxi, Pocket Maxi is a troll. Who raised you? 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 Where are your parents at? Are you even supposed to be online? Are you even supposed to be online? Who raised you? You need to get yourself a timeout. You need you, you need you need to go you need to get on a timeout. Do I need to put you on timeout? You say no, no, no. But who raised you? Who raised you? Huh? 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 You better t you better apologize to me. That's what you need to do. You need to say, I'm sorry, Anita Flying High. You need to say, I'm sorry. Who raised you? Because I'll call your mama. I'll call your mama. I'll call your mama. I'm waiting for my apology. Don't make me have to call your mama. Let me call her. Let me call your mom. Hello? Yeah, yo, yo, uh, you know Pocket Maxi? Yeah, he here on my live stream. He here on my, uh oh, or they here on my live stream. You know what he said to me? Or she? I don't know if it's a boy or a girl because they ain't got no images. He said, Can you take your shirt off? You can do it here or on at Instagram. Or her. Who raised you? And then I said, I asked for an apology. So I'm waiting for an apology. All right, I'll let, I'll let them know. Okay. Bye-bye. Man, your mama said you were grounded. <laughs> your mama said you grounded, boy. Or girl, whoever. Uh, what did you say? Uh, look, look, we need to take it off her shirt. And I'm not putting on no Chelsea shirt. That's for sure. No, let me show you something. Let me show I'll show you. Hold on. Look. You know what this says? Flying high in the bitch. That's who's on the back of my jersey. Anita flying high. You ever heard of her? Mm-hmm. Number six. You ever heard of her? Yep. 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 Yeah. Anita flying high. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, the, I'm still waiting for an apology. I'm still waiting on an apology. I need a flying high in the back of the shirt. I'll never get a football player's name until they tell me they deserve to have my, my until I see them. They don't deserve me to rock their name on the back of their jersey. What have they done for Anita? What have they done for 
for me? Why would I put on a messy shirt? What has messy done for me? Huh? Huh? You say, what did I say? Where are you from? You may be, you may not understand English then. You might be right. You might be right about that. You might be right about that. Okay, you in the UK? Well, you know English. You in the UK? Y'all, y'all don't speak English in UK. Who, who is English not your first language? It, it, it may be a little different. Let, let me let me make sure this game ain't on. Goddamn. Okay, we, they still commercial. All right, all right. Um. Okay, you have the. Okay, 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 okay. All right. Hello. Oh, okay. So see what happened was. Snitz told me he probably they probably just wanted to show they wanted me to show off my uh my t-shirt to see if I had a player on the back of my neck like what player I have on my t-shirt. Mm-hmm. And then I told I told them I had Anita flying high on the back. Number six, you ever heard of her? Yeah, she's a legend. She's a lame, she's a legend. Oh uh, yeah, Anita Flying High. Oh yeah, you're talking to her right now. This, this is who I am. Anita Flying High, number six. Yeah, I play for Barca. And 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 MN City. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, yeah, I'm a Gemini as well. Oh yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Okay. Well, you have a good day. I think we got it all settled. Okay, they're not grounded. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. All right. Okay, so you're not grounded. I don't have anybody on the back of this jersey. Exactly. Exactly. Ain't nobody in a Barcelona uniform ever done shit for Anita Flying High. Ain't no one. I know what Anita Flying High has done for Barca. Commentate. I know what Anita Flying High has done for the people. Tell them the truth. Ain't nobody done anything for Anita Flying High that wears a football jersey. And let me show you something else. Ain't nobody from Team USA done anything for Anita Flying High. Ain't no one done anything for Anita Flying High. Number six, you ever heard of her? Yes, that's me. You Ain't nobody ever done anything for Anita Flying High. You feel me? And that's what I want to remind you. You're an individual. Rock your own goddamn name. Rock your own goddamn number in this bitch because you deserve it. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody in USA. What the fuck the USA did for me, man? What the fuck they did? Fucking lock up. What, what what has USA done for me? You know what I'm saying? So, me, I'm a life path one though. So I'm just telling y'all to be individuals. That's what I am. All right, y'all. The game's back. The game's back. I'm happy that the game's back. But yeah, um, <clears throat> I'm happy that was a uh, uh, I think a uh, pocket. <laughs> But yeah, y'all, y'all already know. Y'all see my jersey, you know what I'm saying? This is my jersey. Need a flying high jersey. What the fuck I look like putting on a fucking motherfucking jersey number? No, 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 play it. <laughs> but, but yeah, why the number six? Oh, because that's I was born on the sixth. June 6, 1996, 6-6, six, six. and 6 is um is the lover's card in tarot, and I'm a Gemini sun sign, so 6 is the number card, it's, that num it's the lover's card, so that's why number 6, it's a, a great number, it, it's harmony, if you know your numerology, and uh, you know what I'm saying, we're going to the sixth dimension. Welcome to the sixth dimension. You know what I'm saying? Six is a portal upside down, it's nine, depending on how you look at it. There's nine dimensions, you know what I'm saying? We're nine uh uh ether beings. It's a lot of spirituality behind the number six. Okay, so that's why number six it's important to me, and um I celebrate myself every single fucking day, and you should too. 
yeah so that that's why the six is on the back uh that's why i rock number six because uh <clears throat> but um yes but yeah shout out to me shout out to need flying high shout out to everyone that is watching celebrate yourself you know what i'm saying you got to you got to but um uh Oh my god. <laughs> Aaron, do I gotta call? Do you gotta do I gotta call do I gotta call your mom as well? Aaron, get your auntie on the phone. Let me get your auntie on the phone. You're funny. You're funny, Aaron. You got jokes. You got jokes. Remember, just remember, don't forget, don't for I, I ain't gonna forget how we got here. But this is a, a, I ain't gonna forget how we got here. All right. Anyways, <clears throat> it's a powerful number. Let's see, let's see. Oh, but you said English isn't your first language either. But I'm happy uh, you were, because uh, I, I, I was like, but. But he, that person left. I think that person left. I think it left. I think it left. But, um, <laughs> that was funny. That was funny. And, um, uh, Aaron, do you have a Chelsea shirt? And, it, and like I said, the best number is zero. Is that the number that you rock? Um, zero, uh, is, uh, pretty much our space, our solo space, our individual space. And it's a good number as well. Um... You got a Chelsea jersey, Aaron? You got a Chelsea jersey? And oh yeah, what I meant to say is nothing wrong with getting there's nothing wrong with getting your favorite player's jersey, okay? I just want. It's cool. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with getting rocking the player that you like to see his jersey. There's no problem. That's no problem. You do you. You do you. Oh, you have two Chelsea shirts and Real Madrid shirt? Nice, nice, nice. Nice, nice. Two Chelsea shirts and a Real Madrid shirt. I need to give me a, a, a Houston Dash jersey with my name on it as well. But when I had looked, it was sold out. Like their new ones, the ones with this logo, it was sold out. So I'll have to catch me one. I don't know if I'll get it this season. Maybe next season. Just depending on how things go about. It's like one thirty to have it customized. That's how much my that's how much my Nike the Nike one I have for USA was. I think and thing I think the uh, the Barcelona one too. And I didn't even want to get this Barcelona jersey. I wanted the female logos. I wanted the the, the female league. But I think I have to go to actual Spain to get a jersey like that. I'm like. But so I just settled for uh the jersey that I got. And then and then I got me a PSG jersey, PSG, a PSG jersey, a Paris Saint-Germain jersey. And they changed their fucking uh um Jordan makes their t-shirts now, not no longer Nike. So I was like, "Oh fuck, I was all flunked out." And but anyways, I got me some jerseys and we'll see. But it just kind of sucks cuz they all kind of get made by this by Nike. It's like, "Damn, like Except, I mean, I have my Man City. Man City gets made by Pumba. Now PSG, they're gonna they get made by Jordan, and then Nike is all over NWSL. So it's like, you know, hey, you said you wanted an Italian jersey. Damn. Okay, yeah, yeah. Also, I need to give me some. That's right. I need to give me some because uh, I wanted to give. I want to give me some uh, international jerseys as well. But I'll be looking on like, especially when I look on Man City uh, on England's site. 
Um, it'd be really difficult to find. It don't really have sections like sometimes it'd be hard. It'd be difficult to find uh um you know what I'm saying their jerseys. What's up? Hi. Pippo, what's up? From Italy. Shout out to Italy. How are you? How are things? Welcome to the chat. What's up? What's up? I love <clears throat> I'm international. Uh appreciate you, appreciate you saying hello. <clears throat> Italy. Oh, did you watch Juventus and, and Barcelona? How how was the game? Did you watch the game? Uh I know that I think the men played. I think the men and the women played that like back to back game. So let me know if you watched the game. How was the game? I don't know, they might have left. <laughs> oh and what's the um what do y'all um you i wanted an indian jersey but those are difficult to come by and i cannot wear any other country jersey even though i support spain internationally All right, all right. A Texan. Wait, who? <laughs> what? I'm confused on that. I'm confused on what you're saying, Aaron. <laughs> but um yeah oh yeah let me know i don't know how old y'all are how old are y'all i'm, I'm are y'all like in your 20s you don't have to actually give me your age if you don't if you're not comfortable but let me know Sid LaRue. Uh-oh, someone's down. Oh. Shout out to him. Lamont Jacobs. Damn. Damn, that's fast. Damn. And they train to be the fastest person on fast the fastest man on earth. Goodness gracious. You think, I think it has to do, I don't know, it has to do, I guess, with everything, how you start, and then 100 meters, and then it's, you gotta just, I think those players, those players should, like, play football as well, they just want to run track, or just imagine if the fastest players, like, uh, you know, like, because didn't um, Usain Bolt play football for a little bit, or, like, he wanted to? Shout out to Canada as well. Canada's getting love in the chat. I'm still shocked. I don't know how they beat Sweden, but whatever. I don't know. I think it was... I don't, man, it, 
I think something, you know, there's a lot of shit going on in Canada. So, I mean, just like, you know, after Hurricane Harvey, Houston won the championship, the Houston Astros and the Houston Dash. I was like, damn, so we just getting blessed with championships <laughs> to make up for the destruction? <laughs> God. Damn, he said... He was too slow. What? Maybe he's slow, like when he comes to like football sense. He couldn't. Maybe he couldn't like uh, grasp the game quick enough. I was like, ain't no way he was too like too slow, like when it comes to pace. Where pace? Right. But Bruce Dortmund. Um. Do they? Have female side they slip it do, do does Borussia don't do they have a female side don't quote me because I haven't even watched the German league like that but do they, does uh Borussia Norman have a female team I wonder if they're good because I know I just know about Bayern Munich Wolfsburg it's pretty much it <clears throat> all right, all right. What happened? He said, Oh, I see, I see. He was too tall. Damn, that sucks. To be the fastest man in the world, but not fast enough to play football. That blows. So in men's football, is it the shorter you're better because you have more speed? Because Ronaldo's pretty fast. Then again, I haven't watched... Uh... I haven't watched boys football in like. I just seen City lost to Leicester City. <laughs> How y'all lose? How y'all lose, man? City? How y'all lose? How y'all lose to Chelsea? Goodness. That upset me. How y'all gonna lose to Chelsea? Both men and women. Chelsea got so many bad, so much, and then and then all I be attracted are men, are Chelsea supporters. I'm like, goddamn, how is this possible? Let me see. Let's see, sixty one minutes. So, if you if you have shorter legs, it takes a shorter time to get to full stride. Okay, I see. Well, shout out to all the players that that have uh, shorter legs. Shout out to all y'all. You are appreciated. You ain't gonna catch me running like that. Oh, you say, okay, okay. 
There's a there's a there's a tallest spinners are usually okay, okay. Okay. It's good to know. It's good to know. Okay, well Taylor Taylor's coming on the pitch. She's someone what someone do we looking at? And then Erica Tim Rat. All right, Orlando. Besides the Houston Dash and Oil Rain game, I mean, all the other games were 1 0. So, if Orlando win, I think they're going to they're gonna push Houston to freaking even lower. Jeez. I haven't been on the uh the NWSL Twitch live stream in a while. Mm -hmm. Oh shit. Wow. I'm just thinking, how did Marta get to, to Orlando so quickly? I mean, that's no excuse. That mean, that, to me, if Marta's the only, almost, she's like one of the oldest players, that means there's no excuses for the other girls to not be ready maybe within two weeks. You know, You know what I'm saying? Especially the Houston Dash players. I mean, maybe not Canada, the Canadian ones, but the Great Britain and USA. We we needed y'all today. I mean, yesterday. We needed them yesterday. You see, you see what happened yesterday. Five one. We needed them. Let we needed them yesterday. They they already a day too late. So they need to hurry up and come back. I don't know. I feel like they're kind of setting it up for fucking Oil Rain and Portland Thorns. What y'all think? I feel like they're teasing us and they're setting it up for that. I'm like, come on now. Really? Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. If Houston has something to say with it. <laughs> All right, not to get spoiled. <sighs> mm. Uh, 
Good player. And I think they're playing in Chicago. They're not supposed to be losing. You're supposed to have you're supposed to be winning at home. All right, corner for Chicago. See what they can do. They got about a good 15. <clears throat> That's what I'm saying. If they left, they should they should already be uh well, I guess it would be a little difficult if they went back to England and daily happen to make a trip back home. And then with the Canadian players, I don't think they went back to Can. I mean, are they going back to Canada? And then USA, of course, is coming back to USA. But ouch! I need you to see the tackle. Let's see. Damn. I wasn't looking at the right place. Um, 20 minutes left. She's still there. Who's that? Calaprico? Oh, injured player. I'm, I'm, I'm still surprised that they actually had the Olympics because we're in a pandemic. So, uh, I'm trying to figure out what, I didn't even, I didn't see the, what happened, like, where the contact happened. Or, like, it was contact, but I just didn't see where she was holding her leg at. But, um, uh, she was in a lot of pain. She's up. Oh, damn. She got fucked up. Ouch. No, oh, what the fuck are they doing? Oh, okay. So they're showing the yellow card to someone. Oh, like sideline referee or something like that. He mad bad. He's just defending the player. Damn. Well, speedy, reco speedy recovery for to Calaprico. Hopefully, it's nothing too serious. She's able to walk. But, um... Hopefully, she's alright. By, uh, you know, next week, right? <laughs> That's some funny shit. Oh my gosh. Just the way he worded it. Pocket mix. <laughs> oh. 
Oh my gosh, I'm still tripping over. I called his mom and everything. <laughs> Oh shit. That's why I need to learn another language. You know, English is so lame. Top chef, you know. All right, seventy third minute. Come on, uh, Chicago. I'm gonna. I need to see some more fight from y'all. I really haven't had any like clear chances. Learn Hindi. Over half a billion speak it, and it sounds so sexy. <laughs> you speak it, Aaron? So over half a billion? Goddamn. Where? Who? That's a hot... I'm thinking more like Spanish because it's like universal, like English. Especially when it comes to, uh, but, oh, what you speak, I don't even know how to pronounce that. Okay. How many languages do you know, Aaron? That's what su in a way, that's what kind of like sucks being born in America. They don't really teach you. There's not it's not it's not put pressure on you to learn another language. But if I was in another country, I would have already be like uh I would have had to been forced to learn another language. You know? And school doesn't really teach you. You said I know okay. Nice. That's what's up. Yeah, because most people we'd like you talk to, um, right? But yeah, you would think, right? See, if if um, if uh, yeah, it's mainly like Texas. Texas is Mexico, Spanish. Texas is Mexico. Like we have plenty of tech Mexican restaurants. It's full of Mexican people. It's full of Spanish speaking people. And they don't emphasize it enough to speech. I mean, because most of my Spanish teachers weren't even Spanish. They didn't even, like, they they understood. They spoke it, but, like, you know, they're actually not, like, quote-unquote from Mexico or quote-unquote from Spain. They're, like, and I don't like the, um, you know, talking about, like, it's a language. And I remember I don't, I'm not black or none of that stuff. But language is important. To, to be able to speak to people in, 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 in their language over here in America. They're like, oh, we're the best, and that's it, and, you know, we're the best. So that's how, that's kind of how the mindset over here is. And, and then it's like, you know, I don't know if you ever heard, like, oh, you don't live in Mexico, you don't live in, in Spain, or in Spain, you speak English here in America. You might have heard that saying. And that's just, born, you know, being, uh, being someone that's here, it's just like, and especially because I like uh, sports, and especially because I like football. And there's a lot of, there's English ain't really the, 
that great. You know, it's not really like just coming from a American perspective. It's it's just it's, ah. But yeah, once upon a time, Mexico, I mean, Texas was Mexico, part of Mexico. And I wish it was like that because your girl would have been fluent in Spanish. Um, I didn't realize how important it was until as I'm, as I'm adult now and I want to be able to talk to other people. You know what I'm saying? And it just, it takes a little bit more time now because when you're younger, it's like, okay, yeah, like, you could speak it and uh it's it's you're you're more open to it but as an adult you have to take some time and practice find people to see you know it's a little more difficult i had to go to french class in school you said yeah me too i i agree i agree i think it's important for for the mind to know more than one language it it feels like it makes the mind more flexible and open. Yeah, I agree as well. And then, like, you're, like, I feel like, even though when I do go to my Mexican restaurants and I try to talk to them in Spanish and stuff like that, um, I'm a whole other person. You know, we're a whole other people. Like, we're not, I'm not uh, American anymore. And um, it makes you think in new ways. And it just, it's just better that way. Why just be one-sided and just learn English? But then, like I said, you have to sit down and actually, like, study and, and. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm still Miss Flying High. Oh, I'm still Miss, uh, I'm still, oh, yeah, I'm still Anita Flying High in Spanish or English. Oh, any, any language. Because Anita Flying High is galactic, universal. I'm, 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 I'm universal. I'm a star, literally a star. As you are as well. We're stars. We're, we're shit, we're speaking. We're, I don't know, y'all can see that. Y'all yeah, see my star. We're actually stars. You ever heard that saying? We're actually made from little stardust, particles from the universe fabrics from the universe were actually stars and they just they just made us act like we're they taught us that we're humans and we're nationalities and all this extra shit but um but yes i uh need a flying high is 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 well known uh you said you had to go to french French is a good language as well. It's just depending on like uh uh <laughs> right. It's really weird, but it's funny because most people that are in different countries they know English because it's like the most. It's because they were forced to learn it. Like, that's something you need to learn to be able to. That's what they, they, they make people learn from everywhere else. Because America is the greatest. But, uh, yeah, we already know how, how I feel about that. But, um... <sighs> I was thinking, I would think I would... I, I think it would be... If I had moved to another location, if I moved to another country, you would have to be forced to, I would want, like, of course I would force myself to learn the language of the people that I'm living with because it's only respectable. I feel like that's a principle of virtue. Like, you don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a principle of virtue to go into a different country and, and be able to speak the language that they do. And then if you fuck up on when it comes to, like, pronunciations, you would hope that they would correct us um, yep, yeah, English is, a. Uh, yeah, you're right, the British, the British and America, they control the world, they control, they control this thing we call the world, in this matrix,
that's why it'd be so funny, right? Because I, especially when I watch football and I listen to some of the when they start to speak, like especially the players, like they sign new. I'm like, "What? Well, you speak English?" And they they address the public in English. I'm just like, "It's so weird. You are in Spain." And you're not even an American. You're probably like a, a German or a, a Norwegian. But you're here addressing the public in English. <laughs> and you're like, it'd be, so, it'd be so interesting, you know? Like, that's the universal language, English. You know? So I think it's hilarious. And um, just something that I peep game. Huh. All right, seven minutes left. Shout out to shout out to the shout out to the Americas. <laughs> Uh, when is Owen Rain playing next? Um, oh, fifty in the house, bounce. Uh, or Rain play, um, uh, August 14th, next Saturday. They play Kansas City. Oh, my goodness. They play Kansas City. So, they play Kansas. Ow, Kansas, can y'all, can y'all, can y'all get a dub? <laughs> You're wild, man. Uh, fr I, I don't know about, maybe, maybe Rapino. Honestly, I don't even know. They probably won't both show up for all I know. That, that coin case is very interesting. I had no idea what's going on at NWSL. But hey, if you're like her, go ahead. I mean, it's just more, it's more agendas. It's more agendas. It's kind of interesting stuff going on. And someone, <laughs> and I think a Washington player is like that as well. But you know what's crazy, Aaron? Like, I've been hearing, I've been hearing like a lot of the, a lot, some of, a lot of the athletes are like that. I'm like, what? So, It'd be very interesting. I would like, I don't, you know, like, I'm like, do the ladies just accept that stuff? Like, I don't know if y'all ever seen Brittany Grinder. Ever seen Brittany Grinder? I ain't, that ain't a woman. I ain't, that ain't a woman. That ain't a woman. I'm a woman. <laughs> I don't know. That ain't a woman. I don't know. Sometimes I'd be like, come on now. Y'all make y'all want to y'all trying to make me believe this? <laughs> Yo, yeah, I have no idea, boy. I have no idea, but shit. She won a fucking gold fucking medal. Oh, yeah. 
Well, like, um, if you look at my podcast, I'm not, not a podcast, my, uh, Cappy Pondexter, um, yeah, I don't know. I just don't think, I mean, the fact that she's the only woman that can dunk is a little suspect. I watched her at Baylor for a little bit, and then, you know, of course, as I got older, and you know, start to realize what was going on. Um, and, and you know, I don't know if y'all seen Michelle Obama. Apparently, that's not a woman either. Weird stuff's going on in the entertainment industry. Weird stuff. But um, hey, It is what it is. I mean, it is what it is. If that's an option. I really don't know what else to say. You know, some, some things I don't know what to say. I really just. Oh, go Lando. Sid LaRue. Shout out to Sid LaRue. Hey, she's still scoring goals. That's what I'm saying. Like, go ahead and go ahead and try out for for the men's team. But I, but I, and then I just I just look at the ladies that just allowed that. I'm just like, okay, so you're saying that's okay. You're cool with that. You're comfortable with that. Okay, ladies, y'all are the one that's welcoming her into your locker room. She's not in my locker room, but, I mean, and, and nothing against her, but, I mean, I don't, you know, I, I mean, old girl got in trouble for smoking weed, and I don't know if she's, you know what I'm saying, I mean, but, you know, I, I that's an option nowadays, you can, that's an option for people. I feel like if we, if, how, how do we have a cure for, for that, but we don't have a cure for, for other things like cancer and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Some of the things that they'd be putting in front street, I'd be like, all right, so you can cure this, but you can't cure this. Oh, come on now. And then you got to have cash to do all that extra stuff. Like how much money did it cost for you to do all that? Who paid for that? How much money is that? But you know who the first one was? Fucking, uh, I don't know if you ever watched Keeping Up with the Kardashians, but Bruce Jenner, he started that whole shit. And all of a sudden, everyone started to, like, not be them. Weird. You say, uh, oh, shit. You said, Yeah. Yeah, she's a woman. Yeah. I think so, too. But it's just weird. Um, Just call yourself a girl. You don't gotta do all that extra shit. Like, Demi Lovato. Like, Demi, you don't have to be... Demi! What happened? Like... Now this they adding they adding stuff to their names and but um but hey to each his own as long as um I mean as long as you're happy with yourself I guess you know what I'm saying but just don't you know pressure me to do it you know pressure me to call you something that is that's not logical like you're a chick simple i don't know what that simple as woke yeah there's a lot of woke people i don't even know i'm not woke <laughs> i'm not i'm not woke i'm spiritual 
that woke stuff they be putting, I don't know what that is. But uh it all, but it was just very it's very interesting they have stuff for, for some things, but they don't have they don't have cures for other things, like simple things like clean water and shit. It's the principle and virtues. And really, it's actually lostness. When you think about it, it's actually lostness. But shout out to Quinn, shit. Shout out to Quinn. Shout out to her. You know what I'm saying? All love, all love from Anita Flying High. All love. Yeah. I think so as well. I think, I don't think anything surgical can fix anything within. But that's not how they think. So, and I'm not in her shoes, so I wouldn't know. But um, some people are not just not happy with the body that they have at birth and they feel that they can fix it and there's an option for that for them so if if that's what they want to do and they got the cash to splash go for it all right orlando getting these three points which is well. <sighs> All right, y'all. Uh. <sighs> well, oh. Today was good, y'all. Today was good. I enjoyed everyone um, coming through. Coming through today. Waiting on the rest. All right. <laughs> yo, you know that that yo, that's some <laughs> yo that Ellen Page is fucking woke lostness. I have no idea. And then and then I fuck with Demi, and they took Demi from us. I'm like, what the fuck? All right. Orlando wins 2-0 versus Chicago. Jordy Taylor and Sid LaRue with the goals. Good job, ladies. Getting it done. I'm going to end the stream right here. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. So, need to join. Hashtag send a joint. Wherever it is, payday, baby. I'll catch you on the next one. Deuces.